pop the hanger door? Yeah. 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 Let's see here. He's got that other side. Is Todd going on the other side? Yeah. Okay. Well, He'll get it. Oh, you got it, Jim? Yeah, I got it. Somebody's already got a got that thing fixed. Well, we're gonna do that today on run out. Well, we're going to be at idle, right? And we're going to we're, then we're going to do this. And uh, the way you really check the hydraulics to see if everything's okay is you go diagonally. And what that does is you, that works one hydraulic cylinder at a time, and then you collect. Now you pull the collective up if you're at idle. And then once we once we have it off, we'll, after we do our checks, we'll reach up here, pull that, see if it returns. Then we, we, you know, the system's working correctly. That, Dude, this switch goes bad. If the switch goes bad and you lose hydraulics, you pull circuit breaker. So, how's that sound? But if you don't get it restored, you just put, fuck. <laughs> I mean, you shut the switch off. You shut the switch <laughs> off, don't you? Yeah. You can always match the when you have a problem. Well, I guess the because you problem. don't want. That the thing come come on, you know. If it's right on, when you're down to the ground, you have close to the ground. You, you want if you're going to have a hydraulics landing, you want the hydraulics off. And you want it to stay off. Yeah. You don't yeah. want to intermittent. Make sense, Charlie? Uh, it does. Okay. And uh, okay. Today, why don't we? Let's not worry so much about the uh, auto rotations stuff. Let's look at slopes. Okay. Confined areas. Whatever you want to do. Because uh, I do auto rotations all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these guys are sick of them. Uh -uh. <laughs> well, that, uh -uh. maybe not Todd, but Lauren and Stu and all of them are bitching at me. God dang, and, Charlie! I'm gonna be, and, you know what? Oh, I'm gonna dude. walk out of here. Oh, like and that. um, well, and dude, dude, and um, Chris too. And Chris too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's not forget Chris. Uh, well, also let's uh, think about checking the freewheeling unit before we. I'll tell you what. Why don't we run it up? I'll do it. We're getting ready to do the hydraulics. We'll cut the throttle, and then we'll do the hydraulics. Okay. okay. All right. You know, I haven't seen that on any checklist in a turbine. On all resets, you see it on the checklist, but you never see it on the turbine. Why is it? Is there a reason? I guess. I guess everybody's so used to everything working. I guess. Do you know how to? Do you know how to MOI a? Uh, the uh, uh, confined area about high high recon, low recon. Uh -huh. right. Okay, we'll do that. Try to work yeah. that in. I do a high recon, low recon, any, anywhere I land. Well, and what I do, I, I do uh, also after I do the high recon as I'm coming in, I, I call it a continuous recon. Okay. See, Frank, I flew that 47 before I ever flew this, mm -hmm. and I had to do a high and low in that. Well, well, you know what, and what people don't realize, if you're a civilian pilot, in a helicopter, you're landing all the. You got to do that stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know the army. You know it's more structured somehow, but it, it, it you get good at it. more than once. More than once because of my high and low, I found a wire that uh -huh. one that I didn't see uh -huh. from the from the high. Uh -huh. I, well, I was I was landing a Huey with a guy. He was flying in Adams County, Ohio, and I kept sitting there. And we're laying in a great big field. You know, I'm looking at that. I'm thinking, you know, there's a road over here. And there's a house up here. There's got to be, be a wire. wire. And I'm sitting there looking at it, and it's, it was a copper wire, and it was green. Well, here's the deal. That's what happened to me down south. Mm -hmm. I was landing at a farm down there, uh -huh. and I went ahead and did my low, and there was a copper wire, and that's what it was. I didn't know it was copper. It was green. Yeah, because it Yeah, oxidized. it was green, and it blended in with the grass at the high. And that was the first one I had happen like that. And I, you know, I didn't land. I had to go well, and land in the field. Well, what I did is I said, I've got the airplane. He went, yeah. and I, I got the nose up and landed. He said, okay, you got to tell me now why I gave it. Well, I landed my 47 in a nearby field, 
got in trouble. Guy's yeah. girlfriend shows up and she's drunk. Oh, shit. And she's all excited. And then he comes and shows up in a truck and tells me, get the hell off this property or he was going to put a hole in my in the oh. engine of my helicopter. In that side. Yeah, and you know what, though? When I lifted off, he had a brand new barn and the rest of the place was all run down. And I think what he was doing was growing marijuana. Uh. Because at first he didn't know what to think, who I was. I had the yeah. stars and everything on. He thought he was, I think he thought I was a cop. Well, he probably thought you were kidding yeah. for marijuana, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I had to leave. No problem, I'll get out of here. <laughs> yeah. His girlfriend was good looking. Drunk it. Another farmer's daughter story. <laughs> <laughs> we Drunk at noon. We landed in a field one time for a thunderstorm, but the guy got his eyes and said, hey, you guys want a beer? Where's the beer bar? Where's the milk? <laughs> we had yeah. that happened down at, we had a precautionary landing because of a tail rudder chip light, yeah. uh, or a chip light, and uh, the guy's farm that we landed in, they were having a barbecue that weekend, they had, uh, told us, come on over while we're waiting on maintenance, we had some hamburgers. <coughs> How's that? Okay, that's good. good. That's great. Okay, private, private. Uh, key off. Check. Control locks. Check. Adjust. Seats and what? Check. DC fuses. How about circuit breakers? Yep, check. Uh, pedo heat off. Check. Position lights on. Check. Wipers off. Check. Bleed air off. Check. Console light off. Check. Inverters off. Check. Main generator on. Check. Uh, VM uh, knob to battery. Check. Battery on. It is. Check. Uh, starter gin gin. Yep. To start. Uh, non essential bus on. Check. Uh, instrument panels. Fire detect. All right. Button clip push. Yep. <coughs> Okay, check for looseness and gauges and whatnot. Check. Fuel pressure. Good. Check. Fuel quantity. We check. checked it. Engine oil pressure, temperature, uh, uh, check. transmission oil pressure and temperature. Check. Voltage check. Check. Scan other instruments and gauges. Check. Okay, center console. Uh, chip detector switches both. We're going to set the altimeter here. Okay. What is the elevation? 820. Or this should say zero. Not too much there. What do you got? Somebody's cranked that thing around, Charlie. Yeah. Did you ever have an instructor set the altimeter exactly 1,000 feet off? When you got in, it, man, I tell you, there's not it. Instructors don't eat me. Yeah, so. right. Assholes. <laughs> it's a 30. Wow. What's going on here? 3055, it says. This thing's, this thing's not right. Somebody's been screwing around. Yeah, it? let's, I'll, I'll just go with this one. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Wow. Force trim on. Check. Hydraulics on. Check. Uh, defrost lever off. Check. Test and reset caution panel. Check. Fuel switch on. Check. Ox fuels we don't have. Auto uh, governor uh, on. It is. Radios off. Check. Uh, we got the intercom where we want it. Uh, AC fuses down at the bottom. Check. We can take this key off if we've already done it, can't we? Yep. Okay. Uh, landing light off and stowed. Check. Throttle, check, check, open and close. And then set it. Check. Okay, it's ready to go. You ready? Dinker, dinker down 10 seconds. And we're good. Okay, you're ready. Get the clock. Clear right. <laughs>